making quick profits and missing out on large trading gains is the number one mistake traders make. Today, I'm going to show you how to maximize your pip gains and become a more profitable forex trader and without further ado let's just jump right into the video this is a new traders problem they always do this they set their take profit level to 160 pips and their stop loss level to 80 pips which is totally fine and reasonable two to one risk to reward ratio however the following thing they do is totally wrong and here's why if it goes towards the downside over here they close off their position they get their 30 pips to 20 pips profit. Let's say they close off somewhere over here. Oh, it's hit my 20 pip mark. Let's say we hit 20 pips. We are happy. We're taking home the money. And that's totally fine. Let's go inside the pip calculator and see how much money you would have made. So one lot size trade, 20 pips amount would have made you $200. However, with this logic, if you do it all the time, eventually you're going to lose at one point or another. So the 80 pip stop loss is going to probably maybe consolidate and shoot towards the upside and you will lose 80 pips, which is not good. 80 pips would equal you to $800 loss. So even if you win one trade, $200 plus, you would lose $800. So you're $600 in the minus if you use this strategy. So what you need to do is this. Double click on this short position and change the profit level from 160 pips to 80. Once we do that, we click OK and we're going to have one to one risk to reward ratio. Now listen up. Listen to me, listen to me, listen. Our 100 moving average is above the candlesticks at the moment. We recently had a push exhaustion scenario. A push was through the moving average, an exhaustion to the moving average, and now we are heading towards the downside yet again with an addition of a bearish engulfing candlestick. This shows that selling pressure is strong. We can enter the trade short. This is Sparta! <laughs> So since we adjusted everything, we need to know what will happen next. So let's play the position. And we hit our first take profit level, which is 80 pips. Now this is super important. After it hits the 80 take profit level, move your stop loss to entry position. This way, you're not going to lose any more money. Even if the market decides to turn back towards the upside, we won't be losing anything. We can only break even. Now, since we reached our profit low, we're not going to take all our profit. We're not going to take any at all. Are you serious? What we're going to do is basically trail our stop loss with the moving average. So what I mean by that is we're going to increase the profit level to, let's say, 2 to 1 risk to reward, which would have been 160 pips. There we go. So what we're looking for at the moment is the 100 moving average over here and the candlesticks probably touching the moving average. This is where we want to close off our trade. So let's see what happens. We are currently making 160 pips. That's pretty damn good, right? We started our position 80-80. We're currently on 160 pips and we're not risking anything anymore. Our position is totally safe. And since it has not yet touched the 100 moving average, we can carry on making even more money. So imagine 160 pips turns into around 254 pips max pip gain that's pretty damn insane you could have made so much money and maybe now you would have closed off the trade because it would have been a nice amount of money to take home or if you follow along with the strategy maybe it's gonna continue to move down even more but as you can see the market has now crossed the 100 moving average which is totally fine what you do over here is close off your position if you followed all the rules so around i would say 150 pips profit that could have been made by simply using the 100 moving average as your indicator you could have made 150 pips to 254 pips profit which is pretty damn good so i know what you're gonna ask can you use this when scalping the lower time frames yes you can and there's a very important tip i want to show you <laughs> hey y'all come look at this 
Euro USD, five minute time frame, currently trending towards the downside. We can also see the best candlestick formation over here, which is a bearish engulfing candlestick, and it's currently below the 100 moving average, which is basically a perfect selling opportunity. We also have our stop loss level and take profit level set to 10 pips, uh, which is nice. The stop loss has to be above the previous high, which is over here, and take profit should never be lower than one to one risk to reward in this case. However, as you know, we're going to maximize our pip gain and here's how. So nice, he has hit our profit low. What we want to do now is move our stop loss to entry position so we don't risk anything anymore and we continue moving towards the downside. And as you can see, it's nicely shooting towards the downside. We can continue making money even more. As you can see, we're currently around 33 pips in profit. Maybe you could have closed off this position because it would have been a three to one risk to reward ratio, 10 pip stop loss, 30 pip take profit would have been three to one. Or again, you can wait until the 100 moving average has been reached. Now let's see what happens. It shoots towards the upside even more and it reaches the 100 moving average. So now this is the important step. For scalping, sometimes I wait a little longer because I find areas of sensitivity. As you can see, this was a previous area of sensitivity. We can see it even over here if we drag it. Look at this. Nice consolidation, goes towards the downside. Pullback, consolidation, downside. We're currently on this consolidation zone. Very likely, since it's the five minute time frame, the importance of 100 moving average break is not so powerful rather than the one hourly uh, time frame break. That's why we could wait until this consolidation finishes and maybe wait for a break of 100 moving average to continue the trend towards the downside. So let's see if that happens. So again, you can maximize your pip gain. And look at this, we are on 40 pips profit. And this could potentially even continue more. Look at this, it went down to around 60 pips or at not 60, 58 pips take profit low. That could have been an amazing trade. And as I said, you could have maximized the pip gain even more by just understanding how the market moves all the consolidation levels, support and resistance levels. You could have maximized your pip gain from a nice scalping position that you started a one to one risk to reward ratio that could have been easily made six to one risk to reward ratio if you knew what's going on. So I suggest you guys implement this trading strategy. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to watch this one over here because it's pretty damn good and you'll probably like it.